School of Investment brings you update on Bitcoin. For four days, the price of Bitcoin has remained over $20,700, giving bulls hope that the price may rise once again to $23,000 or perhaps $25,000. The hopeful move was motivated by a decrease in inflationary pressure, which was supported by the January 18th release of the December 2022 wholesale prices for items. Just seven days ago, Bitcoin was trading below $17,500. The optimistic bets are ready to pay off as the January 20th deadline for the weekly options of $580 million BTC expiry draws near, while the bears will see their options expire worthless as the deadline looms over them. The U.S. Federal Reserve could raise interest rates by 50 basis points at its upcoming meeting, which isn't until February 1st, which is the main hope of bears. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency that uses cryptography for secure financial transactions. It was created in 2009 by an unknown individual or group of individuals under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Unlike traditional currencies, which are issued and backed by central banks, Bitcoin is not tied to any government or financial institution. Instead, it is based on a decentralized network of computers that use complex algorithms to verify and record transactions on a public ledger called the blockchain. Bitcoins can be bought and sold on exchanges or used to make purchases from merchants who accept them. They can also be stored in digital wallets, which are like virtual bank accounts that allow users to send and receive bitcoins and track their balance. The value of Bitcoin is determined by supply and demand on exchanges, and it can be volatile. Its price has fluctuated significantly since it was first created, and it has been the subject of much speculation and controversy. Despite this, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have gained a significant following and have been adopted by some businesses and individuals as a form of payment. To open a Bitcoin account, also known as a digital wallet, you will need to follow these steps. 1. Choose a digital wallet. There are many different digital wallet providers that you can choose from, such as Coinbase, Blockchain, or Trezor. Each provider has its own features and security measures, so you should research and compare them to find the one that best meets your needs. 2. Sign up for an account. Once you have chosen a digital wallet provider, you will need to sign up for an account by providing your personal information, such as your name and email address. You may also be required to verify your identity by uploading a government-issued ID. 3. Set up security measures. Most digital wallet providers offer security measures to protect your account, such as two-factor authentication or biometric authentication. You should set up these security measures to protect your account from unauthorized access. 4. Fund your account. Once your account is set up, you will need to transfer funds into it in order to buy Bitcoin. You can do this by linking your bank account or credit card to your digital wallet or by using a cryptocurrency exchange to buy Bitcoin with cash or another cryptocurrency. 5. Start using your account. Once you have funded your account, you can start using it to send and receive Bitcoin, track your balance, and make purchases from merchants who accept Bitcoin. You can also monitor the value of your Bitcoin and buy or sell it on exchanges as needed. By following these steps, you can create your Bitcoin account and keep your cryptocurrency safe. However, it is important to note that no system is completely secure and you should always be vigilant and take steps to protect your accounts and personal information. We hope you like this video. Thanks for watching and stay connected for more updates.